Hi, hello, and welcome to another brand new episode of The Crafting Coach. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Megan Rosendahl. I am The Crafting Coach, and last week I told you it was going to be my last knitting project, but of course, I have to show you one more. Last week, I showed you how to knit this hat that I'm wearing with a loom. In the same video, I also mentioned that you can make mittens with looms, too. After a couple people contacted me hoping for a tutorial on that, here it is. We're using almost the exact same process as the hats with a few tweaks, so be sure to watch last week's episode first. You can find a link to that tutorial in this video description. The tutorial this week can be customized to fit any size and any style. And we'll only need five things for the project. A loom. For adult gloves, I use a 24 peg. Yarn. A pick tool and a threading needle, both of which come with the loom. And a scissors. Like I said, be sure to watch last week's video first so you can get the basics on loom knitting, including how to cast on. For this week's video, we are going to start right after we made our brim, or in this case, a cuff. Immediately after looping the yarn around to form your cuff, create four or five more rows of yarn, depending on how far up you want your thumb. Get back to the point where you're ready to loop more yarn on. On this next row, we're only going to wrap yarn around four pegs. Keep in mind you can go more or less depending on the person you're making this for. Once you have four pegs on, knit just those four pegs and no more. Now, go back the way you came in the complete opposite direction, looping the yarn in a clockwise way and knitting those four pegs again. You're going to go back and forth over these same four pegs over and over, measuring with your thumb as you go to be sure you've got it long enough. Be sure to adjust this if you're making this for someone else. When you've got your thumb the length that you want, continue once again around the entire peg and keep going just like you're making a hat. Keep measuring with your hand to make sure the mitten is the length you want, and then finish it off the same way as the hat. While the mitten is still inside out, we'll finish the thumb, so you'll need to grab your threading needle. Snip off a bit more yarn and thread it through the needle. I use a tiny sheet of paper for easier threading. Starting at the base of the thumb, thread your needle and yarn through each side, closing up the thumb on each side. Snip off the excess, flip it right side out, and you're all done. Notice that the thumbs stick out to the side? You can fix that by simply pressing and forming the thumb to go with the corresponding hand. This is so much easier than I ever expected it to be. The mittens may not be ideal for playing outside in the snow, but they definitely offer enough warmth for any cold winter day. Check out these mini mittens I made for my cousin's daughter. You see? Any size mittens can be made with this method. Well, that's all that I have for you this week. I really hope that you've enjoyed my knitting tutorials. I will be back next Friday morning with a brand new arts and crafts project just for you. We'll tear it apart, we'll break it down, I'll tell you what to do, I'll tell you what not to do, and hopefully we'll have just a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow my crafting coach board on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. And also be sure to follow the American News online and on Facebook, where every single crafting coach video is available for you. On the American News homepage, just hover your mouse over the features tab and scroll down to the crafting coach. You can also follow the crafting coach directly on Facebook, and you can tweet me at crafting underscore coach. If you have any project ideas that you want to send me, any tips, tricks, or suggestions, please email me at mrosendahl at aberdeennews.com. Thanks again so much, everyone, and we'll see you again in one more week. Bye.